We're going to look at another type of word problem that you're going to be responsible for in this, uh, this unit. And um, it has to do with, with vectors. Um, so to be honest, the math in these word problems is really not hard. What's important is that you express your answer correctly. Okay. Um, so for those who take physics or will take physics, word problems will often be uh, expressed in this way. And you just need to know how to make sense of them, uh, in particular how to express your answer correctly. So the directions say to draw the indicated vector and show the component into which it's resolved. So just very quickly, a vector, OK, we'll do more of this later in the year, but just for now, a vector is something that has magnitude or length and direction. Okay, so like for instance, the wind blew uh, <clears throat> at 40 miles per hour south, um, south of west. That's a vector because it blew at 45 miles per hour, so that's like the magnitude of the vector, and it has direction. It, it blew it south of west. Um, not everything is a vector. Like uh, if, if it's 50 degrees outside, I'd just say it's 50 degrees outside. I wouldn't say it's 50 degrees outside, you know, north. That makes no sense. Um, so things that just have lengths or magnitudes uh, are called scalars. Vectors have magnitudes and directions. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, so this says, um, so we have to draw the indicated vector and show the components into which it's resolved. So I'll I'll draw your attention to this as we do the problem. Um, what this what this means? Draw the components. <clears throat> it says a rocket accelerates at 45 meters per second squared at 65 degrees south of east. Okay, so we have to draw this picture correctly um, because we have directions in there. So I'm going to draw my axes here and I'm going to label north, south, east, and west. That's north, that's south, east, and west. And this says that the rocket accelerates at 45 meters per second squared at 65 degrees south of east. So 65 degrees south of east means that if I'm facing this direction right here, facing uh, east, I'm going to go 65 degrees south of that. So I'm going to rotate until I'm post, uh, facing 65 degrees south of it. So that, that's this angle right here. This is 65 degrees. All right. Now the rocket was uh, accelerated at 45 meters per second squared. We're going to write that as our hypotenuse. Okay, this is my vector. It has direction, right? It's going in a particular direction. And it has a length. Okay, this, the length of this is 45 meters per second squared. And now what I have to do is it says draw the... Um, it says, uh, draw the indicated vector. Okay, so we did that. Show the components into which it's resolved. That Mathematically, that means nothing more than to make yourself a triangle Okay, make yourself a triangle by connecting the tip of this vector to the what we're going to call the, the x-axis. It's the west, you know, the east-west axis. But you always draw, you always draw the the triangle such that you make a right angle, oops, a right angle with what you guys know as the x-axis. Okay, don't draw this way. Draw up. Okay, and now <clears throat> show the components into which it's resolved amounts really to just finding this and that side and then interpreting the problem correctly so let's find <clears throat> let's find x first how do we do that well i've got this angle here i've got a right triangle that's 65 degrees and i know that the hypotenuse is 45 to find x 
Well, let's think for a moment. What trig function relates this side, which is the adjacent side to the 65, and the hypotenuse? I think that's cosine. So we'd say that the cosine of 65 degrees is equal to uh, adjacent, which we know is x over hypotenuse, which is 45. Okay, and we can multiply both sides by 45. Put that in the calculator. Uh, oops, no, uh, 45 times cosine of 65. And let's just double check we're in degrees. Yep. 19.018. 19.018. And my units are meters per second squared. Okay, so that. So this is 19.018 meters per second squared. <clears throat> and what I'm going to write after that is east, because that is the direction, right? That is the direction. I'm going to actually put in the arrow. That is the direction that this rocket is accelerating. So the rocket, like it's going in this direction, but you can break it up into two directions. Like if it's accelerating at this, at 65 degrees south of east, 45 meters per second, you can break that up into its east acceleration, and then we're going to break it up into its south uh, acceleration too. So we just did the east. To do the south, we got to find y, and to find y, we note that the trig function that relates this angle to that side, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse is sine. So we do the sine of 65 degrees is equal to y divided by 45. And as usual, we multiply both sides by 45. 45 times the sine. 45. My s's and 5's look exactly the same. I'll have to work on that. So that's why we put that in the calculator. Uh, whoops, uh, 65. 45 sine 65. 40.784. So 40.784. meters per second squared okay and that is south so so like I said the math in this is not hard it really isn't right, well, what did we do all we do is set this up and solve the side solve the triangle find the sides but uh, you have to interpret this correctly uh, or else it's it's not fully right. So like I can't give you full credit if you leave these out. The answer is that when you break it up into its components, so that's what this was. Finding the sides and interpreting them correctly, that's what we just did. If you launch launch a rocket in that direction, that particular direction, it's Acceleration east is 19.018 meters per second squared, and its acceleration south is 40.784 meters per second squared. Okay, so uh, these problems, they, they tend to confuse kids a little bit, but just, it's not so bad. You just have to pay, really pay attention to, the, to the, uh, the units, for one, and then also direction.